Yo, 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 guys. So I was asked also to talk about our good old friend Pinot. The name is also so weird, and that art is like a magical girl crossed with steampunk. I can't even describe what the hell that is. So let's look at his position and at his kit, because I know that when you look at him, at the same time, he looks really cool and underwhelming. It was something kind of weird for a player in Soccer Spirits. So of course, waiting on his EE, I won't be able to give a final judgment, because depending on what that changes, it could have major importance or it could be total trash. As we know, some E's are actually nerfs, but people don't realize it. So let's look at his base stats. His highest stat is Vitality, his second stat is Speed, so that's really not the greatest thing looking at his positions, because Speed and Vitality are not exactly what you're looking for for a backliner, um, especially if they're a defender, you more want reflex, power, so that's not the best base stat. But that does mean that anything that stacks on movement, who is something he possesses, will have a higher chance of activating. Again, these are not the full stats, and you can buff him, stones, blah blah blah, but that's just to give you an idea. Now let's look at the ace, increased reflex and mac life of dark and thunder players. As much as I don't advise using dark and thunder together, I gotta say this is... The combo ace would have been this one. That would have been a great ace. Life and Reflex, I don't think anyone has ever complained about having both of those two. Uh, active, Steel, Diffuse Target, Reflex by 60%, also Absorb Spirit, blah, blah, blah. That just means that one Steel, available every 15 minutes, has a good chance of reflexing. Because, like, let's be honest, that's pretty trash. But what you're going to notice is Absorbs 40% Spirit. Knowing it costs 50% is like an active who costs 10% who's pretty cool, not to mention he did steal 40% from their bar. So I gotta say, actually, it's, it's not that bad, just only decreasing reflex 60%. I don't know, I, I, I would have done like some form of increased damage or steal damage while doing it at least, making it just a little bit more viable, or reducing the cooldown. If you could reduce this from 15 minutes to, I don't know, 8 minutes, I'd be good with it. I don't know, it just doesn't, it feels underwhelming for the timer. Soul Wash. This is actually one of his greatest scales, because if used correctly, it can fully counter a Vonchi line. Steals 8% of spirit per enemy within the position, if an enemy within the position makes an action. I know, again, it really sounds underwhelming, because 8% doesn't sound like much, but think about it. It's for every enemy. So, that means that there's free enemy, you're not stealing 8. You're going to be stealing uh, 24%. 24% is around a fourth of a bar. That's not bad. That means they make a pass knowing that when you do pass, it doesn't even generate that much. You'd be actively decreasing and at least canceling out the pass that generates spirits. Of course, an active passer with, I don't know, a, a good old Wormwind Unique, you wouldn't be able to really hit that. But the idea is you could decrease spirit. And for PvE, this is actually very powerful because every skill that we use is based on the fact that we move decreasing their spirit with, of course, the legendary four-star Valkia, who, hey, in the affection chains, kind of says something, team, as something like that. But this is a really cool mechanic because it's based on enemy movement, especially in, in PvE, in, lines, in front lines with uh, four players and a goalkeeper. That counts as five times. So five times eight, uh, 40%. Pretty damn good to be stealing that. Uh, again, he kind of has bonus positioning all over the place, so they're trying to say he could be very versatile. Now, honestly, I would advise using him in backline. In some midlines, depending on how you stone him, he could be potentially good. I do not advise frontline, though. Uh, decrease the action speed 15%. Well, okay. And reflex by 25% for 5 minutes with an action that accumulates up to 2 times. I gotta say that this, this is, like, really broken. Because if used correctly in a speed team, especially a team that owns something like a Marianne, this could be very powerful because 30% decrease, you could even throw a Kevin active in the, But do remember that decrease is capped at 50% though. And reflex, 50% decrease, basically a counter to Victoria, not to mention that he's the counter element. Now he's not that resistant, so I wouldn't advise placing him facing Victoria. He does have some ZR in his last skill, but you still want to be careful. Oh, this is pretty cool. Also, if you're using him in backline, uh, if he kills the person in backline or steals or something and goes to midline and then passes or tries to penetrate, it will also stack this in the midline. Knowing he doesn't have any leaderish actives, you know that if he's in backline, he'll be helping the midline a lot just by passing a single time to midline. And even better if he can make it to frontline. So that's why I'm really advising once again that he be put in backline. That's kind of how the shoe system works. 
where you really want to max out the number of lines he can beat down. So that's pretty cool. And IG in 101, increase the action speed by 20% and decrease the incoming damage by 30%. Um, I gotta say, that was like the once. Well, we knew this was skill was gonna be buffed, but I mean, it it's good, but it's it's not that great either. It just allows the Spray of the Unknown to be stacked more often, but it doesn't actually help on his steel skill because it's not based on your movement, it's based on their movement, but you're slowing down. So in a way, it's kind of counterproductive, I want to say. But yeah, so looking at the chains, friendship, you just need to know that Avnor is there. Dude. The other two don't matter. I mean, okay, we know it's a five-star, but you shouldn't be using her. Maybe if she ever gets revamped and her skills work correctly... I know some people were complaining about them not working, so we're, we're, just, we're just not going to consider her. Patrika, well, I mean, again, he is dark. Patrika's dark. Mono dark people. Get it the cue. He's pretty cool there. Uh, rival, Virgil. Well, I know they hate light, so no issue. And the Nemesis, Asilla, and Victoria is, well, even Silk. I gotta say, those are some really good Nemesis chains. So, except for the, the these three, the chains are actually pretty damn good. On top of it, they're different kinds. So you can stack them if you set it up correctly. So I'm going to say chain-wise, he's got some pretty good swag. Now the question is, really, for the stones, where do you want to place him? Because this is going to have a huge importance on how you're going to stone him. Because you can't just stone him randomly, depending on a position. Um, on top of it, with the new unique, some different stone builds are now possible. Uh, I'm going to say specifically using the new Warm Wind unique, combined with the Spray of the Unknown Liquid, could be extremely deadly in multiple lines and can solve the fact that he lacks tankiness, who's something that a lot of people have been proposing to do. Uh, nowadays, I saw a few when I was doing uh, some League and some live PvP with friends, and it was surprisingly powerful. So the idea would be basically to use the new um, Wormwind Unique. I'm just going to check one sec on my phone the exact stats just to give you the correct values. So decrease the damage that I within the position received by 10%, and decrease the action speed by 12%. So this means that he'd have 15, another 15, 30, 40, 42% decrease action speed. Again, cap is 50%. That means alone, he's completely destroyed their speed. Not to mention that he would be a line DR buffer. He'd have on top of it his 30% debuff. This would help a lot the line. And if you could have like a Metatron in there, it could all work really well. So that's why a lot of people are proposing to use Eye of the Storm on him. Uh, if you honestly don't feel good about Eye of the Storm, um, certain stones, like for example, Calm Icicle, is also pretty damn cool, because you want him to move to stack, and it's going to give him some DR once again. It's not going to help the line as much, but it's really going to help him stack his skills. So it's really going to depend what subs you have and what you're trying to accomplish with him. So I would really advise between Calm Icicle and uh, the Wormwind one, who I've already forgotten the name, even through my phones in front of me. Uh, Dark-wise, I honestly can't think of a single stone I would advise, and I love Dark Stone, so that's kind of sad. I mean, worst case, you could go Battalion, but it, it doesn't really make sense on him. So you would choose one of those two uniques, you would throw in a Reflex Stone, and for example, you could put a Dark DR, a Dark Life Stone, actually, why DR? Dark Life Stone and Backline only, if it's not Backline, it's a DR Stone. You could put um, the Thunder a Calm Icicle, and you could put a Warm Wind Reflex Stone, or you could inverse that depending on what you're trying to do, and put a Reflex Stone in the Prime slot. Uh, Light Stone would work best because there's no critical resistance that's active, unless, of course, you're running something like uh, Alice and Celestia in midline, and maybe another debuff, and then it would actually start making sense again. Or, of course, you can put the, the Warm Wind Unique, you can put uh, Thunder Reflex, and you can put uh, the Dark Life. But if you really want to go Reflex-wise, you could actually put Thunder Pass. Because like, when attack, he gets even more Reflex. A Reflex, another Reflex. That could also be pretty damn cool. And in case he decides to pass. But again, that's more manual that you would kind of do something like that. So, in my opinion, Backline is pretty good. And Midline, depending on how you stone him, he can have a lot of value. I would not advise using him in Frontline. I mean... Come on, his title is Defender. That kind of says it all in my opinion. But yeah, he has a lot of potential. I'm going to say he looks good. He sounds good. Now his stats are low because he doesn't have any EE yet. We're going to see how they change his skill at EE. If they in any way increase Spray of the Unknown, he could be broken. If they increase Soul of Wash, he could be broken. So my question is, how are they going to change it to not make him completely broken? Or are they just going to break them? Because we all know BB and they, they do weird stuff. 
So let's wait and see how they do. But I hope this helps you guys understand the basics of how Pinol works currently. And of course, stay stay updated. We're going to wait for his EE to know the true value he has. Have a good day, guys.